Welcome back to Schittsburg, boys. Today we got some interesting headlines for ya. A racist gang is running wild. Good thing we kept our black people. A second tower to be built. Boys, come on. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Look at me. Look at me. Yeah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. That is asking for it. You don't build twin towers, boys. That's just waiting for a plane. You know what? I'm retired. I don't need this shit. An investigation into Francis Kendrick could resume. Now apparently that's what it takes to get justice in this city. You gotta die first, boys. Well, I'm not dying. I'm not dying quite yet. The people of Freeburg have built up a tolerance for the petty horrors of modern life. You'll never see crowds gathering around a beaten passerby. Folks rarely even slow to gawk at a car accident. And street theft doesn't turn heads anymore. Been a long time since people got worked up about stuff like that. So when I ran into a troubled crowd on the way to work, I knew there was something serious going on. Something bad enough to knock these people out of their daily rhythm. And we're talking about people who would step over a corpse if it was blocking the door to the coffee shop. But apparently all it takes is a bunch of leaflets. Or spreading broken glass across Main Street. Or releasing a couple of hundred rats in the ice arena. The mysterious figure taking responsibility for these strange acts goes by the alias Robespierre. Nobody knows who he is, what he wants, or what all this adds up to, from the buckets of lard spread on the sidewalk to the front door of City Hall covered with ostrich feathers. But this strange cross between childhood pranks and cheap theatrics has got the people all worked up. Everyone understands when some Freeburg crook satisfies the basic human need to rob and kill. But when someone steals a lion from the local zoo and locks him in a cell below the courthouse, the people start asking questions. Myself, I kind of like this Robespierre. It's not just the pranks he's pulling or his green bull's head emblem. I just like his funny nickname. Robespierre? Really? Who does that make me? The Marquis de Lantanac? I don't think so. In the old books about revolutions, I fancy myself the old gunner who goes off to war with a bag of damp powder. Or maybe the innkeeper who tops up the beer kegs with mop water. Hmm. It's something to think about. Martin Nestet is my new deputy. But I'm not a sheriff, however, I am the police. Easily, you fucking piece of shit hipster. Get glasses that fit and come to fucking work. God damn. Starting the day off like that, boys, I tell you what, it's no good. We gotta put on some jazz to quiet the lion. The lion that sleeps tonight in the mighty, mighty jungle. We have no investigations. We have no affairs because our wife left us. We have jack and shit. In the hiring queue. Lovely. Apparently, we can kill our officers. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's dark, dude. That is super dark. Oh, hiring a snitch? Hell yeah, I'm hiring a snitch. 
Who's gonna be my snitch? Who is it? Who is it? Who, who's it gonna be? You already know it's Vandal! Vandal! That's right, boys. The gaunt zombie Vandal is gonna be reporting for me. And we are going to spend some money on training up an officer as well. Lavaz. Get yourself some fucking pants. This is a no short zone here. You can't be lounging in your knickers here, Lavaz. You gotta wear pants in the police station, Lavaz. How many times have I told you? Yep. We gotta. Chris Lavaz. Chris Lavaz, man, he just. You gotta put on the pants. It's part of the job, man. I keep telling you. And you never, you never listen, Chris. This is this is why we have to send you to re-education. It's just, it's no good the way that you're doing it right now. It's no good. We can't have that. All right. So we're we're definitely we're definitely gonna send, you know, the Chicago Bulls. But I feel as if maybe maybe the Chicago Bulls could use a little bit something to you know kind of boost their street cred. So I'm thinking that the brother and the sister, who are also first cousins, should probably come along. Oh Christ. A oh, fucking lover too. They know all about the lovers, don't they? A store clerk report that two teenagers found the most expensive sneakers on display and then ran out with their new running shoes. Well, Officer Little and Mary, you guys can go and have a merry little lamb over there, can't you? Oh, that's how you deal with crime, boys. An officer to stand in front of the door. Well, that sounds like a job for Levaz. He's got no pants on anyways. How much worse could it get? I love how they wait until I send my officers out to all these crimes too. City... City Hall has no conscience. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Hey kids, I'm one of you. This is totally gonna. What? <laughs> that worked. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's see what happened. The Chicago Bulls remain undefeated, boys. We're going for an MVP here. We are we're gonna break the Warriors record in half. Between the fucking bulls and the inbreds, we just got got too much to worry about here. What's going on over here? Tried to pick up his daughter from school. Started kicking a teacher. Alright, Vandal, you fucking zombie snitch. Go ahead and take Mr. Fucking Arabic clean with you. Yeah, you know what? We need we need to find out we need to find out more about Somdi. Alias Hagar Samadi. And I'm gonna keep calling you Samdi because well it just flows. It rolls off the tongue, Samdi. You gotta understand something here, Samdi. We don't tolerate your bullshit in this police station. <laughs> oh, we have something going down at the engineering plant. Oh, not if I can help it, you don't. This guy thinks he can run the town while well, he can't run me. I am the police. Hey, what does he want? Well, it's a musical. Let's go ahead and send Jack and Jill went up a hill with a buck and a quarter. And Jill came down with a buck fifty. Ow! <laughs> uh, 
as well as Mary had a little lamb. I think that's really that's really the way to go with this one. Uh, yeah, you know what? Those records are probably evidence in a very important investigation. Now I think I think the Chicago Bulls should probably have a little you know a little D league game here. What a disorderly conduct. Maybe they can get that guy to come out of the closet. Who knows? They can be very persuasive if they try these Chicago Bulls. Uh, let's see what's happening here with the assault. Oh, holy shit, the Muslim zombie came back. Alive. Motherfucker's unkillable. That's why he's my snitch. Tell me all the deets. Let me know who's eating the brains, who's eating the fucking clit. Uh, all the lights are on when the policeman arrive. The museum caretaker explains that he's only had the job a couple of weeks. Ah, oh, come on. That's such bad luck, bro. Oh, you're on the job. You find out there's a crazy person scrawling on the artwork. And he's going to be fired. Oh, still, it just, it does not end, boys. It never ends. Oh, and he's locked himself inside. If I know anything about bathrooms is you got to tell him to come out with his hands up. Oh, shit. Uh, he's threatening to stab himself. We just want to talk, bro. We just want to, we just want to talk. We're the Chicago Bulls. We're here to negotiate. I'm Michael Jordan, and you suck at basketball. Thank you. <laughs> and hey, what do you know? Our little pep talk worked. We got the little pepperoni. Chief, we helped little Boober, and he gave us a Gennaro Crespo album. No! Oh, Grant, you went, you went drinking without your cousin-in-law. How could you? What a hoe. Dude, I, I still gotta say, I'm so salty about that, that investigation into the gang. Like, please, please game, please. Give me, give me a real game. Don't let me collect the bonus without letting me know what collecting the bonus means. I'm a police chief. I thought I just got paid for solving cases. Is that is that an uncommon thing? Oh, the engineering plant. This is gonna go down. I tell you what, boys. We gotta send the freaking zombie. We gotta send Mary had a. Uh, yeah, we gotta send. No, you know what? The zombie's gonna stay behind, and we're gonna send Mary had a little lamb. The Chicago Bulls and Mary had a little lamb. All right, and we don't we don't have room for SWAT on here. It's a small operation, no space for anybody else. So I'm just hoping that they'll go ahead and take care of it for me. But in the meantime, I've got a third cousin over here that's ready to go down on some Lawrence of Arabia bullshit here. If anything starts happening, and of course I've got my snitching zombie. Bandali himself. Oh, we need more reinforcements. Well, I think it's about I think it's about time that uh, the zombie zombie gets put into the line of fire, huh, boys? Uh, we're gonna send the zombie and Allah. Jack, you must have seen the newspaper stories about Thomas Blaine, the retired cop who went schizophrenic with a new kind of schizophrenia, according to your local neighborhood gypsy, and shot a pregnant woman to ensure this tragedy doesn't repeat itself. We decided to conduct psychological testing for all cops over 50 of age. That includes you, Jack. Tomorrow morning, the fucking sham doctor is going to be waiting for you in her office to collect her fat government paycheck. Don't be late. And this is why we don't have a retirement fund, boys. This is this is why the police are going poor. Cause we got we got a we got a guy named Palmer over here. 
selling us her bullshit cow dick tea. Your erectile dysfunction, you know, that really has nothing to do with the psychology of the business, you know. So I'm not saying, but I'm just saying that this is kind of a. Eh. But hey, we got a report on the theft. And we got them, boys. There we go. Six officers. All of them getting some points on this one. Some good action. And Christopher Sand does not want any more trouble. Well, listen. I'm going to play you a little Taylor Swift song in a minute, Sand. I'll text it over to you on iMessage. How about that, huh? I'll send you some goat emojis, too. Just so you get what I'm getting at. Well, let's see what do we got here. We got a city treasury doling out $90. Mother, that's my retirement fund right there. Just let you know. City fucking spent it, those bastards. Fucking bloodsuckers. Alright. The mysterious Robespierre announces his political ambitions. He is presumably going to run a welded green dick for mayor. Polls show he's leading by 5%. Six new restaurants appear in the city by year's end. Well, that is troubling news indeed. But we must all worship the green metal donger. Dr. Gypsy McFake Tits. Mr. Boyd, this is a very simple test. I'll show you my paycheck, and then we will see how you react. Ooh, a man taking a handful of tablets in the bar, and sure, why not? A man going back into his house. A woman decorating a Christmas tree. Seems pretty honest. A woman, a man giving a woman a Christmas ornament, presumably because the hand is fat and belongs to a man. I'm just saying, that's a little bit of body shame in here, Dr. Cracksberry. You know what? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I can't call you Cracksberry because apparently you're part Native American, just like Elizabeth Warren. Holy fuck, little did I know. I'm dealing with Pocahontas here. This woman's about to drop the Christmas ornament and some shit's gonna happen. This Christmas ornament, it's shattering. It's shattering, boys. And this right here is a fucking lightning bolt on top of a pile of shit. Golden shit. I think it's a man with a head of the rhinoceros. I got nothing else. Ooh, that's definitely a woman slapping a man. Or a chicken eating his ear off. Holy shit. Oh, look at this guy. He's been practicing his Kamehameha technique. This is like this. He's got the aura and everything. He's channeling his chi. Hey, <laughs> Yeah, there's a man pushing a woman. The woman falling over with the Christmas tree. Oh my, dude, somebody tied her to the railroad tracks and this guy's just laughing. <laughs> Thank you for your time, Mr. Boyd. Well, fuck you too, lady. I know how this works. Don't worry, boys. I'm in the know. Mmm. Mm-hmm, 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 little old Shea Broom, that dirty minx, re-elected as the general something or other, I don't know what an attorney has to do with it, ooh, it's an accident, sure it is, you dirty snake, you fucking snake, you fucking told me to fire all of them and then you say it's an accident, Oh, that ain't gonna fly, boyo. Major businessmen ready to invest in the future of this shithole. Oh, boy, is there something that I wasn't ready for? Investment. Better invest in my pension.
Another day, another dollar, and Moser, he could not sleep, and now he has tintinous. Can I take the day off? Sure. Fuck the fuck off. Uh, no, Mary had a little lamb, needs to remain intact. No, the Chicago Bulls need to remain intact. And I get a stripe for standing up for the Chicago Bulls, and I will give it to Snitchy McZombie Face. Yeah. For all of those of you who are not in the know, those those little epaulets that he has riding on his uniform there, a little Lance Corporal rink he's got on his sleeve, well, it's about the only thing that's keeping his face from falling off. Uh, they're holding a pro- they're holding their first protest. Hmm. Ah. Backed by foreign sponsors, boys. Those Saudis are trying to take over America again. Not today, I tell you, not today. Let's show them what intimidation looks like up close and personal. Oh, you don't even know about intimidation. You haven't seen intimidation until you've seen the Chicago Bulls. And... The Brother Sisters. Okay. Now that we've met, I've got sweet ginger green. That is for danger, so I don't I know just And I can't afford gotta be bold to hold sweet ginger green. She's sweeter than soon. Ooh, I can't afford to get stove all fired. Beats Lulu too. When Damn, I don't have enough money for this. I should have been more corrupt, boys. I fucking knew it. Let's see, what does she say? Mr. Boyd, your psyche is in good shape. My only concern is your stress level. My research shows that Beethoven's music soothes and relaxes the nervous system, and I recommend you invest in a bit of good old Ludwig van. Oh, how do I agree? Right after I get my Moloko at the Horoshaw. Alright. A little bit of the old super violence how to clear things up here. Let's send uh, Zombie Van Dam and Zombie together on this. They should be able to take care of some Jews. Suppress the protest by force. Yes. Fuck them up. We're not taking any of that shit. We're a, we're a free nation of, uh, in, in, a, in a free burg. For a Freeburg, Freeburg. Ah, 1240. I wouldn't want any policemen crashing the party. Cleveland Work caught sight of a scarecrow with a dagger through his chest. In the handle is engraved with the letter S that's sand threatening me. He's basically saying that if you don't let me rob the casino, no, I think he's gonna rob the casino. Let's be honest, boys, he's gonna rob the casino. So if I let him rob the casino, he's gonna leave me alone. Well,. We'll see how that goes. We'll take Beasley and Weaver takes the back seat because I can't have any feminazis running around in my department after I just beat up a bunch of women and got paid for it. The hostage situation, perfect. The offenders were caught, the officers were unharmed, and Zombie Vandal gets to live another day. Maybe we'll harness some of this lightning and turn him into Zombie Frankendal. Oh. Let's see how how old is how old is Zombie Vandal anyways? Does it does it show that? Oh well he's been here for nine days, he's never failed an assignment. I got nothing about his age though. Pretty sure no one is alive for that long though, I'll tell you what. An investigation has started into the arson of the movie theater. Well that's good news, boys. Well, this this is some high caliber. That's some high caliber poker here. We're gonna need Mary having a little lamb. And we're gonna need good old Wincest. Alright, boys. Get him. The good win and Grant. GG. Good game, Mr. Sand. You have no idea who you're fucking with. 
we installed a new slot machine called the Super Magdalene 3 Adventures of a Prostitute in the Bible. The last time we put in a new one, one of the bigger kids almost broke it the first day. Oh, that's sad. That's sad, the fat kid broke the machine. Not much you can do there, boys. Not much you can do there. Well, let's see what happens here at the casino with these boys. Oh, they need some backup. They're requesting reinforcements. Well, I think it's about time to send in the Chicago Bulls. Who else? i deal with them fuckers. They'll have no idea what hit them. And of course we're gonna send Zombie Vandal to deal with this. We can go ahead and take good old... Good old Semidian Pirate with him. This is still ticking, but... I don't want to lose two officers for the day unless it's Wincest. I think I'm gonna send tin, Team Wincest to the arcade. I think that's really gonna be my only option here. Let's see what happened with the robbery. Oh, we hammered him. The Sands won't even know what hit him. Look at all these promotions. Promotions all around, boys. Ah, they can't handle this much winning. Holy shit, there's a fucking armed doctor over here, but uh, I'll release your souls from this filthy world. I'm just gonna f tase him, bro. Just zombie vandal with the taser. <laughs> oh, that doctor. He didn't say the magic words. Don't tase me, bro. That's all right. That's all right. We'll we'll take a little bit of a doctor taser in here and there. We are about to receive a large shipment of alcohol. Hmm. Well, sand can fuck off. We'll send Team Wincest to the arcade to play with themselves, and we will send the Chicago Bulls to deal with. The disorderly conduct of housewife Takara Montes. I have never heard of a Takara. That is that is one hell of a name. Takara Montes. Esposita Villa Lobos. Or Villa. Probably shouldn't say the L's. Well, let's see. What is this going here? Sounds to me like someone is being raped. Sounds like a job for Mary Had a Little Lamb. Mary Had a Little Lamb, its fleece was as white as snow. Until someone chopped the coconuts and said that all it did was blow. <sighs> it was a very white lamb. I had a cocaine addiction. Beat the hell out of him playing Hellfighter. Good job. Alright, the Chicago Bulls are gonna need Zombie Vandal and the somebody to go with them. Somebody. <laughs> oh shit, that's gonna be your new name, brother. Somebody. Somebody needs to go over there. Alright. So now we have three new frames. There's a woman buying a ticket, throwing a bottle, and running away. Unsuccessfully applied for an usher job. So. Let me get this straight, lady. Zoe Nozick. No sex? Listen up, Zoe No Sex. If you apply for a shitty minimum wage job, and you don't get the shitty minimum wage job that you applied for, chances are burning down the shitty minimum wage establishment is a very good thing for the workers of the proletariat. But realistically, is it going to help you? No, it is not. Let's see, what do we got? A large man holding a crying girl by the neck. You shut up, you whore! I paid you, now keep quiet! Well, let's kneecap him. But a pimp leaps for the man and another fight breaks out. Hmm. Rape at the True Color Hotel. Oh, somebody showed their true colors. Oh, sunglasses! Jumps out the window. Shoot the fleeing man in the back. Fuck it. Mary had a little lamb. Absolutely zero filter on this team. Fucking Mary. Mary. Little. They don't give a fuck. Zero fucks given. 
One fuck, two fuck, three fuck, four fuck, zero fuck. Let's see what we got here. Officers unharmed. Beautiful. We got them, boys. The city prosecutors have reason to believe that you seriously exceeded your judicial powers during today's feminist protests. We're calling you for official questioning. Ah, yeah. That's fine. He can be mad at me. What? No, Stovall! You fucking traitor. You know what, man? I kept you safe from the racists. I gave you fucking four championships, three MVPs, and you leave me for this, Stovall? No loyalty in the modern world, boys. No loyalty at all. Feminist protest meets angry police. Police break up feminist protests. Freeburg Society's Holt campaign, citing city safety. Ah, oh, the humanity, the humanity, boys. On that note, I think it's about time to say goodbye, and we'll see you next time.